Hi everyone, welcome to Aliens Talk Show. My name is Winnie. Thank you so much for stopping by. It has been a while. It has been a while since I've sat down and spoken to you guys. I really missed you. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry, my voice is cracking, cracking. Okay, it's winter over here. So there's like, a, you know, it's a bit cold and chilly and, you know, all that wintery stuff. <clears throat> Um, how are you? How have you been? How have you been? Let me know on the comment section how you have been doing. I have been I have been well. Uh, life life has been life in for me. Uh, busy here and there to be honest. Uh, I know the last time because I had a little I had a little gap uh, before my pre my last video. And then I came back, I was like, yes, I'm back, da, 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 thinking that, you know, I'll be that consistent. Um, but here we go. You know, it has been a couple of weeks uh, since I've sat down and spoken to you, you guys. Uh, yes, basically, it's life, you know. Uh, you know, God is in control. You know, sometimes uh, we don't know what's ahead of us. We, we all have plans, you know, we all have plans. But you know what? The one who is above knows better. Okay. So I've just been busy. I've just been busy. Um, family and, you know, you know, other things work, da, 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 you know, life, life, just life. Um, so yeah. How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? What have I got in mind? Um, I wanted to do a little rant. <laughs> I wanted to do a little rant and um so what happened is the other day i went i wanted to have my nails done and uh, i went to my local nail bar and you know this this these nail bars most of them most of them or the ones that i have been to they're run by uh, i think they're chinese or i don't know I think maybe they're Chinese. Please correct me on the on the comment section. And um, this is this is actually not the first time this has happened. So, so as soon as I walked in, you know, there was this hello, hello, and uh, you know they just don't give you a chance to kind of you know think through on what you want to to do you know because it's not like i don't know if you're like me but for me i don't know much about about nails okay whether it's gel that i want to do whether it's a kai i don't know acrylic is it acrylic is that how you pronounce i don't know okay um so i went there so i was you know on the you know the list i was looking through the list and um I was like okay i want to do my nails and then they were like okay do you want powder do you want gel do you want this and then i, I was like okay just give me a give me time first of all explain to me what's what okay what's gel what's uh a, is it acrylic what's you know uh, powder what else? i don't know so i was I stood there thinking, oh my goodness, and they're not giving me, then I, I, I thought, you know what, Winnie, stand on your ground, stand on your ground, take your time, I'm here, you know, I'm here, I'm happy to pay for the service, surely, I should be allowed to take my time and, and think on what I want to get, okay, so I stood there for a few minutes, uh, the lady then walked off, and then um she came back again um what color what color i was like oh i don't even know what i want to be honest i kind of i kind of knew what i wanted to, i wanted to get because i've had it done before but even the first time when i went to that other you know nail bar it was the same thing you know they just don't give you a chance so uh, i stood there i was like okay i want gel and she was like looking at my nails and then I was thinking, okay, first of all, I don't like the, you know, the, the electric nail file that they use. You know, some, I think I've been to one nail, but they, you know, they will go all into like dig into my nails with that thing. Oh, it's like, oh, please don't do that to my nails. Um, so I sat down at the, in the end, I sat down and still the lady 
I was trying to explain to her what I want because I wanted like some some diamonds on. I think they put like you know diamonds or something like the fake diamonds, whatever. The bling bling, you know. I wanted that, and just like uh, uh, you know, she doesn't understand. So here's my point. Here's my point. Yeah. There's this phrase that goes, um, the famous phrase, um, when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do, okay? So I was just thinking, like, why don't these Chinese nail bar, why don't they have people, like a receptionist, who will be able to, um, you know, invite you in, you know, talk you through what you want to do okay because as i was sat there so i just ended up saying to her you know what i'm not gonna change i'm not gonna change have something new um i'll do this i'll have the same thing that i've usually you know have because it's like they're not giving me a chance to like sort of think of other you know something else for me to do uh on my nails so I thought, okay, I sat down, I said to her, I, I want gel, and then I picked the color. And after a few minutes, there was, there was a lady who sat beside me. It was her first time. So with her, she was just watching. You know when somebody has something to say, but then because they don't know you, they're kind of like hesitating uh, on, on starting the conversation. And uh, she, she was finding it hard even to pick the color that she wanted to pick you know that she wanted so she kept saying to the to the lady who was doing her nails like uh let me let me just you know let me just think so she she was like looking at this color looking at this color and then she later on just turned around um no i just said to her isn't it hard you know when you walk into this you know uh, <laughs> nail bars and and nobody explains to you you know like breaks things down for you uh for you to understand she was like oh my dear you know it's my first time i've never done nails before this is my first time uh so anyway she then she uh, she asked me like which one would you prefer she had like two colors then i said to her oh this one i think that would suit you and uh, so that's the color that she went she went for and then later on <laughs> there's another lady who walked in um she wanted her nails done it was the same thing she could first of all she couldn't explain herself what she really wanted and they were also not giving her a, a chance to you know ex they, they 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 couldn't understand what she was saying they didn't give her a chance to explain what she wanted so she, she kept saying nails nails they say they, say, they were saying to her is it natural natural fake natural fake natural <laughs> I was just thinking, oh man, why don't you just simplify things and just have a, somebody at the reception that would take take through a customer, you know, sit down with the customer, like few minutes, ex, you know, let the customer explain what she wants, okay? And then take you to, to whoever, the, the, you know, the ones who do the nails, okay? But you know what? This is the thing. You know, like people are holding on to culture, people are holding on to identity. But on the other hand, it doesn't work. I was, I was, I, I, you know, I left there feeling, feeling like frustrated because I have gone there to relax. I've gone there to, to be given a service. I've gone there to, you know, have my me time, have my moment. But there I am trying to figure out like what do i want to do you know i can't i can't understand what the lady was trying to explain to me she can't understand what i'm trying to explain to her because of language barrier then i was just thinking like simplify things have somebody there so hey ho this is my point you know in my in my language in swahili we say that mutajan infame okay even though you know what you're doing a hundred percent you know what you are doing please allow other people to also express what they know and by this i mean they will give you an opportunity 
or ideas to you know to widen up okay if you're a tailor and someone comes to you and says please can you mix i don't know this material and this material and you're there thinking oh no you cannot be. of course there are some instances whereby you know for sure that that, that that's not gonna work but please let your customer explain to you or give you her or his idea to you okay it happens in churches as well you know sometimes you know because somebody has been you know in the church for so many years they don't give a chance to other people you know you're thinking oh this one uh you know i've been in the churches for i don't know how and how how many years so you don't allow other people to express themselves please allow people to express themselves every day the world is evolving you know things are changing people are growing you know there are people you, you you will never know you will never know you if you live um a life of always assuming that you are the best or you know it all you understand that does not work you're missing out you know give especially to those that you rely on them to you know give you uh you know pay for your pay for the service that you want to provide to them hello please give them a chance to express themselves i felt so bad for myself i felt bad for the for the for the two ladies who were, who were there who i i am sure by the time they left there they're thinking oh my goodness what a waste of time what a waste of time okay so if you're a business person you know your business a to z that is well and good but please allow other people to also express what they what sort of you know ideas they have that that will help you to grow as a business that would help you even even when even even um you know with our children sometimes we don't give our children time for them to express what they have okay allow people to to speak allow people to express themselves have a listening ear okay listen listen carefully because by through listening you will be able to you know communicate well you'll be able to um you know give advice you'll be able to develop you'll be able to grow okay but if you have this attitude of you know it all the world is going at a very high speed the children of nowadays can teach you a lot okay if you allow them to express themselves they'll teach you a lot okay so if you're a mother listening to me please allow your children to express themselves if you're a business person allow your customers to express themselves if you're you know you're you're in the in the in the ministry allow those even those who are you know um new they're young in terms of their faith okay allow them to express themselves allow people to express themselves please okay if you're in the catering business okay someone someone comes to you and says please in this in this um you know burger can you mix this and this this and this and this and this okay do it for them let them express themselves all right so my biggest um uh word of encouragement here is please allow people to express themselves the world is not linear Poli politicians are not listening you know in the healthcare industry you know they're not listening sometimes you go to the doctors and they say oh this is what i've been feeling and they're like no 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 i i think it's this i think it's that because you're going by the book okay allow people to express themselves and once somebody expresses themselves they might not be right okay but you can be able to uh you know educate them okay you can be able to uh, make them understand in a better way rather than you know 
cutting them out cutting them off completely all right i hope <laughs> that i've spoken something that something that you'll be able to resonate um and um i shall end it here for today and thank you to all those who have been following us on this channel uh, may god bless you and i shall see you on my next one god bless you bye bye Thank you.